Morning guys, what's up? Jasper's here and welcome back to the vlog. It's been a while since we last talked and a lot has happened in this amount of time. Number one, Avengers Infinity War has came out. Biggest movie of my life. Super, super awesome. Number two, Daniel Lin and Curtis Lin of Lotus in Hand have dropped their awesome, awesome trailer for their new playing cards, the Ventus playing cards. So go check that out, it's super amazing. Maybe even pick up a deck or two for yourself if you're into their card design. Number three, because a lot of you guys have been messaging me, hey Jaspers, I really want to use the favorite day edition Jaspers decks in my video or to make a review or to make some photos. Uh, can I, you know, like, use it? I've talked to the new deck order group members and the Patreon gang cardist and after hearing what they think about the situation, I've decided that if you have a Jasper's deck favorite day edition and you really really want to use it very well, let's make it happen. I want you guys who have the Jasper's deck favorite day edition playing cards to go get your cameras, go out and shoot an awesome video, or um, take some awesome photos of your Jasper's deck favorite day editions and hold it in for a while and edit it and make it amazing. On the 10th of May, all of us with the Jasper's Deck Favorite Day Editions will release a sick, awesome video all at the same time and we can showcase the playing cards to the rest of the world. I am really, really hyped to see what you guys do using your creativity and your skill with the Jasper's Deck Favorite Day Edition playing cards because given the back design, the very, very different back design of the playing cards, I am super sure that some of these videos coming out are going to be the coolest, the sickest, the most creative, the funniest, the, st <laughs> the outright stupidest Kardashri material of all time. I look forward to it. I will probably also make a video on it, but maybe a little bit later than the 10th of May so that you guys can get the limelight. Yeah, so that's all for now. Let's check out some mail that came during the time period that I've been inactive. Alright, so a package came from Out of Play. This is the usual sticker that they print for every uh, package that they send out. And here is the package itself. Feels pretty full, maybe we've got 4 decks this time. Oh! Oh! Oh, these cards look great. These cards look great. First up in the package is this new Art of Play sticker. Really classy looking, really beautiful. Let's set this aside for now. The guys over at Art of Play sent over a total of three of these Bruce Lee playing cards. They've done a Bruce Lee deck of playing cards before, but I believe this is the second edition. I'm really excited to check out what these cards look like. Okay, so first up, let's check out what the box looks like. Bruce Lee in the front in his usual Pose with the words Bruce Lee at the bottom in a beautiful, beautiful, vibrant yellow. At the top of the box, it writes in Mandarin Chinese, Li Xiaolong, which is Bruce Lee, followed by Dragon Back. The seal on the top is a beautiful red and white yin yang symbol. And on the back of the box, it says, Absorb what is useful, reject what is useless, and add what is essentially your own. Very good words to live by, especially if you are a cardist. On both sides of the box it says Bruce Lee, very nice. And at the bottom there's some legal text. Let's open this baby up. First try. I'm not sure if you can tell from the video but this box has a beautiful matte finish. Very, very nice. Let's open this up. Ooh, extra details on the inside of the box. Always appreciated. Very, very beautiful. Let's take the cards out of the box and just appreciate for a moment how beautiful this box is. Wow. Let's first take a look at what the ad cards look like. This is the first one. And on the back of this ad card is an ad for Out of Play. Very nice, this white on black is so clean looking. On the second ad card it says, I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Also an ad card I presume? Nope. Instead, it is the dragon backs of the Bruce Lee playing cards. 
let's take a quick look at the Jokers before we move on to the faces of the cards. So the Jokers are Bruce Lee's live action photos. The first one is a black and white one of him kicking and the second one is also a black and white one of him kicking. And so these are what the backs of the cards look like. Let's take a quick look at what these cards look like in a fan. Mm. It looks pretty interesting, especially because at the top left hand corner of the back design, there is this extra cut out of the borders. So in the more compact part of the fan, like over here, it looks like the cards have thicker borders. But when it goes all the way to here, where the cards are more spread out like so, it kind of looks like thin border playing cards. It's really interesting how the back design adapts to how dense the fan is. Now I thought to myself that this yellow actually looks really familiar so I compared it side by side with the Broken Borders playing cards. It turns out that this yellow that they used for the Bruce Lee playing cards is just a tad warmer and closer to orange than the Broken Borders playing cards is. That's just a fun fact for you guys who have Broken Borders playing cards. Now let's take a look at the faces. Set the broken bottom aside for now and take a look at these faces. On the ace of spades is a green and white yin yang symbol. Two of spades, be water my friend, the classic quote. The three of spades says using no way as way, having no limitation as limitation. Pretty cool. So basically every single card in the deck has a unique Bruce Lee quote with a Bruce Lee signature at the bottom. Pretty cool. And yeah, I guess this is a simple design of the playing cards. Let's take a look at the faces of the cards in a fan. Hmm. Because the indies of card has that same cut out of the border that I was talking about on the back, the indices exist on an outside circle, and inside that outside circle exists a smaller black circle that goes around like that. But if you make the density of the fan looser like so, then you'll be able to see this black part that comes out like this. However, this density of the fan that occurs over here is really 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 loose so I don't think this was the intended use for the face design. The cards smell like usual USPCC playing cards and I'm pretty sure that these are basically USPCC playing cards. So I'm just gonna skip through what USPCC playing cards usually feel like and let's get down to some action. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick look at the beautiful Bruce Lee playing cards. Let me know in the comment section what you thought of it and let me know whether you got one yourself. I'll be adding this deck to the giveaway brick so we are now at 10 decks out of 12 decks. If you're new here and don't know how to win this awesome, awesome selection of playing cards for yourself, uh, leave a comment in the comment section below and join the conversation, add to the conversation and contribute to the community. Do that and you might be the lucky winner of an assorted brick of awesome, awesome playing cards. Alright guys, so that's all for today. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye bye. Yeah, uh, so I realized I haven't told you guys the story about our trip to Malaysia. And upon reviewing the footage, I realized that the footage is really, really boring. Because we can't bring cameras into an escape room, to show what happens in an escape room to other people. It turns out that there's not a lot of footage, especially considering um, most of the time that we were in Malaysia in that previous episode that we, I was talking about it. Most of the time we were just running from escape room to escape room and there wasn't much other action other than being in the escape room. And at one point of time I wanted to make this comparison between the mystery behind an escape room versus the mystery behind the Jasper's deck favorite day editions. And I had this whole uh, story I wanted to tell about how if we knew what was in escape rooms, the value and the beauty behind escape rooms wouldn't be the same as it is not knowing what is in the escape room. But it turns out that there are some people that really do enjoy knowing what's inside the box and there are also people that really want to share what they bought with the rest of the world with their friends 
it was only after taking all of this into consideration, plus talking to the rest of the New Deck Order, and plus talking to the Patreon gang guys, that I decided like, yeah, let's let's make an official release, an official exposure date for the Jasper's Deck Favorite Day editions. And because of that, the, this whole analogy about how the Jasper's Deck Favorite Day editions is like an escape room where you don't want to know what's inside it, you want to explore it for yourself, kind of falls apart. But that being said, I can't appreciate you guys enough. I can't appreciate all of you guys who kept the secret and all of you guys who kept the puzzle to yourself and the mystery to yourself enough because that must have been so difficult for you guys. Thankfully, now we have an official like coming out to the world date and I hope you guys take this idea and I hope you guys take the deck and do crazy stuff with it, especially with all those super weird back design cards. Yeah, I really want to see what you guys can come up with. If you want to appear in one of my Jasper's Deck Favorite Day Edition review uh, videos, use the hashtag JDFDE and you know, I, I just might feature your video or photo in one of the upcoming videos. I guess that's all I wanted to say. Thank you guys. Love you all. Bye. Hello, yes, I am hungry and so. Oh. <laughs>